shall we get started? I guess. Um, here's the box. It's got a big old Gigantamax EV on it. It looks pretty good. The Elite Trainer Box features 10 packs, which is great because I think historically Elite Trainer Boxes have had 8 packs. I might be wrong about that. And they come with a bunch of energy and some sleeves. And the box itself is good for storage. Actually, I'm sort of running out of like bulk storage, so this will be kind of nice specifically for bulk storage. So if you didn't know, um, you can take the sort of sleeve that's on the outside of the Elite Trainer box and you can open it up and uh, there's images. If you ever wanted sort of like a cardboard, like a long cardboard poster, these open up to show a bunch of the featured artwork. I think it's all four of the artworks that are on just the packs. Now real quick, I need to change the webcam Pokemon from the back of Cloyster to be Alphonse Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. All right, next up, there's this player's guide, which is pretty great. It's got um, a ton of info in it. It's got some high quality glossy artwork of uh, of all the cards in the set. Um, I'm very excited actually that Crobat V is in the set. Ditto V and Ditto V Max I believe are new. Um, in DDV I don't know if that's new or a reprint. Cramorant is a reprint. Cramorant V Max I actually don't remember if that's a reprint or not. Greed and V I think is new as well. And there's a couple amazing rares. I think there's just the three, maybe? There's Reshiram, Kyogre, and Eveltal, amazing rare, and they're all uh, they're all fantastic. Eveltal actually takes five energy in its attack cost. Whoops, which is a lot. Um, and it does, your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out. It just, it just knocks out for a fire, a psychic, a dark and two colorless. It just says your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out. That's crazy, actually. Isn't there a Marnie card that's Japan only? There might be. I actually have no idea. And there's the Charizard that people are going to start. I mean, people are probably already freaking out about it, but if people haven't already started freaking out about it, that's the one I'm pretty sure. There's Toxtricity VMAX, the Lapras VMAX, which I'm very excited about. Um,. And uh, yeah, a bunch of other cool stuff. There's like a main set, sort of. And then there's a shiny, I think it's called a shiny vault. Um, the rusted sword and the rusted shield as well, I think, are really cool new additions. Specifically for Zacian V and Zamazenta V. And then there's a full list of literally everything in this set. Um, and then once you get past... Number, um, I think Alchemy, um, Alchemy VMAX is the only quote unquote secret rare. So I think there's 72, yeah, Full Art Skyla is number 72 of 72. And then the only secret rare is Rainbow Alchemy. And then there's a bunch of shiny Pokemon that have basically been reprinted. So like your Voltage Beat. Rillaboom is in here, your uh, Ice Dance Frostmoth is in here, all kinds of stuff. I think some Mad Party Boys as well, so Mad Party players are probably pretty stoked for, you know, the Mad Party promos as well as the potential shiny Mad Party Pokemon. Um, we've got shiny uh, Headbutt Tantrum Zigzagoon as well, which is pretty cool. And yep, there's a shiny, the, the, the Obstruct... Obstagoon that does three damage when you evolve it is also shiny in here. So yeah Whole bunch of shinies and then in the very back. There's a whole bunch of shiny V's and V maxes as well as two um, Black and gold. I don't know if they're secret rares or if they're just like Super hard to pull maybe I can't even really tell from here um, the ditto and the ditto V max look really really cool just being full blue um but yeah 
And then, of course, again, the Charizard is sort of the thing. It's sort of the, the hotness, if you will. So that's the player's guide. Pretty cool. Nice to see is sort of what you can expect from the set. Then, opening the box up, we have um, some, some rules for the game. Whoops. There it is. Oops, sorry. That's upside down for you. I'm super not used to this camera setup and this orientation. Uh, we've got some 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 very cute Gigantamax EV sleeves that I'm actually going to open right now. Anything cool that we get, I'm going to just put right in these sleeves. So there is a promo in this Elite Trainer Box. I think they started doing promos in the Elite Trainer Box starting with um, the Charizard, the Full Art Charizard V in um, Champ's Path. So that's pretty cool. I think that would be the first thing that I would sleeve. So this is an EV VMAX. Let me know and I'll hook you up with a promo and sleeves online. I appreciate that. Thank you. But I think it should be fine. I don't know. Ooh. That's tough to open and like try not to damage the card, but I feel like it's probably better to keep it sleeved, but that's fine. So there is EV VMAX. It's so tough to show to the camera and the glare. The glare is another thing. I don't know if that's even going to focus for you. Not a professional, by the way. <laughs> um, in case you couldn't read the attack, it says GMAX Cuddle, three colorless energy, 150 damage. During your opponent's next turn, if the defending Pokemon tries to attack, uh, they have to flip a coin. If tails, the attack doesn't, doesn't happen. Just straight up does not happen. Um, sort of in, uh, reminiscent of the um, Greninja, I believe, in Detective Pikachu. And I think there's a Dragapult as well, just like a regular Dragapult that has like a similar effect. I don't know if it's with the attack or the ability for those cards, but very similar thing. Um, yeah. And these sleeves feel pretty nice as well. How do they... There goes that EVV Max in that sleeve now. How do these shuffle? I think they've been, yeah, they've made their sleeves way better since I want to say like the trainer tool kit that had like nice sort of matte sleeves that made shuffling way easier. So these are some nice actual, not sort of sticky sleeves that they've had in the Elite Trainer boxes for a while now. But let's just leave the EV over to the side there and um, let's see what else we get from this box. Um, so the other pack of cards in here, this is all just bulk energy. Um, probably probably not even going to open this because I have just a lot of energy, as I'm sure a lot of people do. Um, but yeah, it's nice, again, if this is someone's like first Elite Trainer box, it's nice to have just a little bit of extra energy um, in case you don't have... In case you haven't opened many packs or whatever and you're trying to build a deck and you know i think they're still including fairy energy though which is cool then comes with i want to say four dividers is all it looks like is in here so there's four dividers which you can just use in the elite trainer box itself for sort of storage some uh poison and burn markers as well very nice and then one of the one of the more, I don't know, cool things, I guess, about every um, Elite Trainer box is the dice. Now these, these are brown. <laughs> these are these are just straight up brown, um, which I mean, you know, it's, it's a bit darker in person than it shows up on camera. It's showing a, a little bit brighter on camera. Um, but yeah, they're just, they're brown dice, whatever. And then there's the... Um, the black and brown sort of uh, regulation coin flip dice with the Shining Fates symbol for, is that for one or six? It's for one. So that's cool. That's nice to add to the dice collection, I guess. Finally, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shining Fates packs. Very excited to crack into them. Do I think I'll get anything good?
Probably not. Knowing my luck, probably not going to get even a single thing that I want. You feel like they could have done a really neat marble brown white swirl color or something? Yeah, as opposed to just... To just brown? <laughs> it's... It's just brown. It's just black and brown. It's a little underwhelming, given that the set is called Shining Fates. And I get that it's EV colors and everything, but it's just like a little underwhelming. It's a little poopy. Literally, literally a little poopy is all I'm going to say on the matter. Fingers crossed I get the Zard. Thank you. If I do, I'll probably scream and get a big old noise complaint. Here we go. First pack. It's a Charizard, so that's got to be... That's either a good sign or a bad sign. Okay. We did it. Gooey, I'm going to try to keep the packs as intact as I can. <laughs> but also no promises because I'm, I'm often not very good at opening packs. Pull the top flip thing and then look for triangle. See, you say that as if it's easy. All right. I'll just keep that up there. I'm going to try to not... A, show you the code card, and B, um, that makes no sense. Oh no, two, three, four to the front for the old card trick. All right, first pack, here we go. The energy is grass. I'm, okay, I need to remember that there's a camera. All right, gym trainer, Floatzel. hide the code card under a table to take it off. I don't think you guys saw the code card, did you? Rusted Sword, that's very good. I wanted one of those for sure. Gossifler, I mean a couple Rusted Swords if I can help it. Cacnea, Choodle, Eevee, having, just having a swim in the water. Nicket, a reverse, is a shiny Bunnelby for that Mad Party pack, or deck rather, let's go with the shiny Bunnelby and our rare is a hollow Luxray with the uh, raid attack it does 100 more damage if it evolved this turn so that's a good start with the shiny Bunnelby for sure sleeve that up I opened a, a lot of um, hidden fates and I did get like a good amount of shinies from it but certainly not that many for the amount of packs that I opened, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, there's all of our hits so far. This stuff I think I'll just put sort of off to the side. So, so far so good with uh, with uh, the packs. We'll move on to pack number two. We've got a um, Dragapult pack. Keep the packs over there, I think. One, two, three, four. Here we go with pack number two. There's a dark energy. Another rested sword. Very good. Just need a shield now. Dartrix. Ball guy. There's our first ball guy. Hoping for a full play set of ball guy. Even a. Uh, I, well, I would say reverse ball guy, but that would take the place of possibly a shiny, so. Um. Call for Family Snom, which I think is really good. Better than the Snom that exists. There's also, I think, a Thwacky that has, like, free retreat if there's a stadium in play with an ability. Which I think they did so when... There's a spinner rack. I think they did so when Shaman Prism Star rotates out, then the Rillaboom deck will still have, like, a free retreater. Maybe. I might be wrong, but that's my hunch. There's a spinner rack. There's a Shinx. There's a horsey. I think this next one is our reverse. And it's a more Pico with the famished attack. Shuckle and a Trumbeak there in the background. Very nice. And our rare is a Dreadnought. Exoskeleton. This Pokemon takes 30 less damage. So that's pretty good. I'll take the more Pico. It's a nice artwork. There's Yanma in front. Keep that pack over there. Don't show the stream the code. And four to the front. The energy is, I'm going to say lightning. 
It's steel. Feels bad. Okay. Steel energy. Team Yell Towel heal 50 damage from both active Pokemon. Why? Why would you? There's a rested shield finally. That's good. I say finally. This is the third pack, but definitely wanted at least one of those. Eldegoss. Yanma. We saw that earlier. There's the other more Pico art with the Snubble and the Rookity. Very cute. It's uh, stolen a citrus berry. Little thief. There's the coughing. That looks very sort of sly. As if it's like gotten away with like farting in a room full of people and nobody noticed. You know what I mean? There's a Gossifler. Cacnea. Hey! A shiny Applin. It's like a, it's like a Granny Smith. A nice green apple. Very cool. Gooey Gooey, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Again, I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce your name, but I appreciate it all the same. That's cool. I love Applin, so I'm, I'm really excited about that. And the rare for the pack is a Volcanion, a water type Volcanion. Very cool. So we've got uh, two shinies so far. We're two for three, which like is pretty good, honestly. I think we can hit five shinies for 10 packs. That seems doable for me. Fourth pack. Set the code card aside. Two, three, four to the front. Goodness gracious, the energy is a psychic. I was gonna say water. Psychic energy, Tropius. Attach leaves, attach up to two grass energy from your discard to your benched Pokemon in any way you like. That's interesting. That'd be really good if it was in like a theme deck. But probably not like a regular deck. There's our second rusted shield, which is very cool. I like having two of each. There's the Rotom with the Roto Choice ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may search your deck for up to two item cards that have the word Rotom in their name. Reveal them and put them into your hand. And shuffle your deck. So that's good for stuff like Rotom Bike and Rotom Phone, I think. Um, there's another one. I don't. There's. I think there's another one in Vivid Voltage called Rotom Drone that I didn't know existed until very recently. There's Spinarak, Qfant, Gossifler, Call for Family Snom. Very cute. The coughing that just sort of got away with something. And reverse coughing with the ascension attack. Okay. And the rare is a full art Keralis. Or Keralis? Keralis. Okay. So as far as full art trainers go, probably not the most idea. Sorry, ideal. Um, but still cool. Still a full art trainer. We take those. Switch your deck for up to two rare fossil cards and put them into your bench. Then shuffle your deck. We'll still take it. We'll still absolutely take it. That's our first first full art. Hopefully not our only full art. K9, what's going on? Welcome. We're just uh, opening some Shining Fates right now. Thanks for tuning in. I think this is the fifth pack. There's one, two, three, four, five packs to go. They go so fast. You know what I mean? feels like you're just sort of getting into the opening and then before you know it before you know it the pack is or the the whole box is all it's all over one two three four to the front i guess the energy is going to be fire hey there we go that's got to be a good omen right for charizard right that's how that works fire energy cramorant with a spit out shot attack to water this attack does 50 damage to one of your opponent's bench pokemon that's not great, TBH. We got our second ball guy, very exciting. Your local shop is holding a Shining Fates ETB and two Hidden Fates ETBs for you? That's awesome. That's really good. Are you gonna open them or are you gonna save them for resell later? We got a Dartrix. We got a Choodle. We got an Eevee taking a bath, taking a big bath in a big lake. I think there's, is there a Waylord back there? No. No, there's not a Waylord. I thought there was a Waylord in the back. You're opening them? Nice. Awesome. We got a Nicket. Horsey. Call for Family Snom. This, I think, is the reverse. 
Yeah, we got the Cramorant. That kind of feels bad. <laughs> and the rare is the Rude. Okay. Not an awesome pack, I have to say. Um, still sleeve the reverse. That was probably one of the less exciting packs, I think. Non hollow rare and uh, non shiny reverse. So it looks like we're, we may not. I mean, th these last, we're halfway there. We're halfway through the box. Looks like these, you know, we're, we've, we're two for five on the shinies. But I guess for hits total, we're, we're more like three for five. So that's not, that's not too bad. So, but I think five shinies, I feel like that's a reasonable, um, that's a reasonable sort of ask, maybe. See, the danger with Shining Fates is that as soon as I open this box, it's really going to make me want to just open more, but I can't do that. You got three shinies and 13 packs? Holy moly. So, so far, my, my, my pulling two shinies is actually comparatively good, I suppose. All right. Code card for later. One, two, three, four to the front. Energy, I want to say, is dark. It is fighting. Okay. Fighting energy. Floatzel. Rusted sword. That's rusted sword number three. So we're almost at a full play set for rusted sword. Dartrix. Cacnea. Gossifleur. I don't know if you would ever even need a full play set of rusted sword. Almost have a full play set of this nom, too. I think we might even already be at four. These are some nice bookmarks. That's very rude of you to say. There's a Trapinch there. Nick it. There's the Thwacky that I was talking about earlier. Its ability, if you have a stadium in play, this Pokemon has no retreat cost. So I would say this is comparatively probably um, the best Thwacky to play in, uh, in Rillaboom. And then our rare is a Hollow Indeedee. With Helping Hand, search your deck for basic energy and attach it to one of your bench Pokemon. And then Psychic, 20 plus 20 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active as well. We got a Shiny Corviknight pack here. Let's see what we got. Am I ready for snow tomorrow? I mean, I guess so. I suppose I'm ready for Snow tomorrow. I didn't have any, like, plans, I don't think. So, um, I haven't played very much of uh, Mario 3D World, which bums me out because I'd like to get back to it. So, one, two, three, four to the front. The energy is grass. It's lightning. Um, so, yeah, tomorrow I'm probably just going to play a bunch of Mario 3D World, I imagine. Lightning Energy, Eldegoss, Gym Trainer, Cramorant, more Pico, Cacnea, Choodle, Spinarak, Qfant, this is the reverse. Yo! Let's go! We take those. That is an amazing rare Reshiram right there. It's got a pretty bonkers attack, actually, for a fire, a lightning, and a dark. Um, this Pokemon, uh, it takes 60 damage. It, it does 60 damage to itself, but it does 270 damage, which is nuts. That's a lot of damage. And honestly, with fire, uh, fire, lightning, and dark, you can, you can accelerate for that pretty easily. Would trade Gooey? I believe this is, I mean, this is my only one. <laughs> so I'm probably not going to trade trade it away. Um, if I were to pull a second one, then that, that one would be up for trade for probably another amazing rare that I don't have. But obviously, this is my only one, so it isn't for trade. But very nice card. Very nice sort of rainbow burst effect. And our actual rare is a Celebi. Cool. With the Woodland Stroll ability, once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in the active spot, you may look at the top six cards of your deck, reveal an energy you card, sorry, reveal an energy card you find there, put it into your hand, shuffle the other cards back into your deck. So sort of like uh, Stellar Wish, Jirachi, searching for a trainer, only this guy, um, this guy searches for energy specifically. So cool. 
could be potentially playable with Celebi. Probably not. I feel like energy acceleration isn't super, isn't really an issue for people. But yeah, that Reshiram, super cool to see. All right, and just like that, there's only three packs remaining. We've got, this is our last Charizard pack. So let's see if the Charizard pack gives us the shiny VMAX Charizard. Probably not TBH, but we can, we'll see, I suppose. Four to the front is going to be water. It's grass. Okay. Grass energy. That's our third ball guy, I want to say. So that's good. Team Yell Towel and Rusted Shield. I want to say that's our third Rusted Shield as well. Cube Uggo Buggo. I mean, there's a few bugs, but I'm assuming you mean Buzzwool maybe. Buzz, the name that they came up with for Buzzwool is hilarious. Um, there's a Weasel. Shinx. Coughing. We're probably very close to having the 72 cards for like the base set. Just kidding. There's a Sky Circus Rowlet. Very nice to see. Do you like Kartana? Kartana is awesome. A Reverse is a Professor's Research. So we take those. If, if, if something from the base set of... Uh, Shining Faints is going to be the reverse. I think I prefer that it be research. And our rare is a Cramorant VMAX. Let's go. I don't know if Cramorant VMAX is actually good or not, but that was a very good pack. Max Jet for three colorless energy. Flip a coin for each energy attached to this Pokemon. This attack does 80 damage for each heads. Okay, interesting. Two packs remaining. This is a uh, Dragapult pack. Psychic energy, d dark energy, pink energy. The energy is, I'm going to guess water. And, and a shiny V in this pack. I hope so, my man. The energy is dark. Who said dark? Canine, you said dark. Nice. Well done, my man. All right. Dark energy. Tropius. Ice energy. Get out of town. There's the Rotom again. And there's our fourth Rusted Shield. Very good. So we have a full play set of that. Gossifler. Coffer Family Snom. Coughing. Cacnea. Gossifler. This is the reverse. Okay. Okay. It's a shiny. Shiny Grim Snarl with the Dark Oath ability. As long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, your opponent's actives, active Pokemon cost uh, one colorless more. I'm surprised this doesn't see play. I'm assuming it doesn't see play because it's a stage two, but still. And then energy press, this attack does 30 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Like it would be a really good ability if Grimmsnarl could be on the bench, but I think because it has to be in the active. But yeah, that's that's a beautiful Grimmsnarl right there. It's sort of like a light pink stage two awkward energy cost. Yeah, for sure. So there's that. And our rare is a Morpico VMAX. Okay, so that's two VMAXs in a row. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Morpico VMAX with the max discharge attack. Two lightning and a colorless. This attack, uh, it does 180 damage and it also does 20 to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So it sort of spreads, spreads the damage a little bit. And before you know it, had a lot of fun with this elite trainer box. Um, if if you're interested, I don't know if you're interested, I think I'm probably gonna set some sort of goal for this because I've had this just sort of lying around since release and it could be kind of fun to go for this Charizard as well, I think. So he was never heard from again. Um, so yeah. If you're interested in seeing this opened on stream, then uh, this was a great idea to do tonight. Oh yeah, Mev, it was a great idea. Good thing I came up with it all on my own. <laughs> last pack, Shiny Toxtro City V. This is gonna be the last pack for the night. Um, if you're new here, um, I stream usually open the cards. I will, my guy. If you're new here, I stream usually Sundays. I'm doing a randomized, um, uh, Pokemon Soul Link, which is like a two-player Nuzlocke with uh, Dilbs in chat. Um, him and I are three badges in, so we'll be continuing that Sunday night. 
Tuesday nights I play Pokemon trading card game online, and then Thursday nights I'm sort of just like a rotating between a bunch of things on Thursdays, but uh, just yesterday I played a game called Monster Sanctuary, so if you're interested in seeing some Monster Sanctuary gameplay, it's sort of like Pokemon and Metroid had a baby, and that's what... That's what uh, Monster Sanctuary is like. You know that game? Yeah, it's awesome. And then Wednesday night is IRL cards, if I remember to go. I was going to go this Wednesday night, and then there was a Nintendo Direct that I wanted to stay in and watch. So, any guesses for what the energy is going to be? I'm going to guess Lightning Energy. Any final guesses for the final pack? We've got a Grass, we've got a Grass... Got two grasses. Green. We've got three grasses. It is a water. <laughs> All right. Let last pack. Here we go. There's a water. Eldegoss. Cramorant. So not. Oh, there's our fourth po uh, fourth ball guy. I think so. That's good. We've got a full place at a ball guy. I think. Choodle. More Pico with Shuckle and Trumbeak. In behind. I think they're sipping on some berry juice there in front. What does Ball Guy do? Ball Guy, just going to leave the, the reverse and the rare and even more in suspense. Ball Guy, search your deck for up to three different item cards that have the word ball in their name. Uh, reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. So searches for a quick ball and soon level ball with um, battle styles. Ball Guy is creepy. Ball Guy is awesome. And you will retract your statement immediately, or I will unmod you. More Pico. We saw already. There's the coughing. Gossifler. Sky Circus Rallet. The, the reverse, I think, is the more Pico again. With the shuckle and the trumbeak. Sipping on some berry juice on a nice summer day. Oh, well. And our rare is Volcanion again. Ugh. That is anticlimactic. Well, there you go. Our uh, our shinies for these 10, 10 packs, again, were Grimmsnarl, Applin, and Bunnelby. We got two VMAXs, which is pretty cool. We got more Pico and Cramorant. Did I win? I would say, I guess for shiny pulls, I kind of won. I didn't get any shiny Vs or VMAXs, but that's okay. You lost. <laughs> uh, we got a reverse research, which is pretty cool, and then a full art... Kara, Kara Liss um, isn't playable unless you're playing a fossil deck for some reason, and unless a fossil deck gets good anytime soon, that's probably not going to change. Um, the promo EV, of course, that comes with the box is very nice. So these are just um, reverses, and then of course the amazing rare Reshiram is an awesome pull. We got reverse Morpico, Indeedy, reverse Thwacky, Reverse Cramorant, Reverse Coughing. Oh, we got double more Pico. Okay, so I could probably trade this more Pico for something. And then Hollow Luxray, which is cool. So yeah, that's it for the box. Thanks so much for watching. You'll give me one Bitcoin for all the ball guys? Not worth it. Ball guy is priceless. Just look at him. He's so good. He's so good. Um... Yeah, Dilbs and I are going to be back Sunday for uh, Randomized Ruby Soul Link. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. And uh, if you're opening any Pokemon cards, good luck. <laughs>